Hello beautiful beings, this is Maruma 2 and you are watching Sun Soul Astrology and this is the daily planetary translation for April the 15th, 2017 and my apologize, my apologize, my apologies for having such a heavy Mercury retrograde effect on the um, order in which I got the videos out. I actually have um, a family member visiting from Miami and we are going on a little vacation. I'm going to Sedona and to the Grand Canyon. I leave in the morning. And so I've been recording the transits pre, um, pre this trip, right? And I never do that. So doing that during Mercury retrograde has caused me to um, basically glitch in my dates and uh, my readings. So I do apologize for that very much so. The 16th came out before the 15th and now the 15th is late for those of you who are on the other side of the world. And um, I'm going to then change up the whole routine for this video here today. And I'm actually going to only read Sabian symbols and I'm going to read for Mercury at three degrees of Taurus where Mercury is retrograde and conjuncting Uranus. And I am also going to read the degree for Capricorn at 19 degrees, the Sabian symbol, which I have not done before. And the reason that I'm going to do that is because Capricorn, um, 19 degrees where Pluto is at, uh, over the next couple of days is really going to have some heavy energy come into play with it because the moon is presently in the sign of Sagittarius getting ready to conjunct the galactic center and then as it progresses into Capricorn around the 17th and the 18th we are going to have an exact conjunction with Pluto at this degree uh, and the moon, right? And the moon and Saturn are trining some very supportive energies between the sun, Uranus, and Mercury retrograde. So as the moon moves, it's going to hold on to this trine, on to this supportive energy. And this is going to be really powerful to note because once the moon does hit the Pluto degree, it will then square the same aspect, okay? And so that is really good to take note of because these changes and transformations are um, being shown to us ahead of time. So maybe that's why I did the videos the way that I did it um, was because I was supposed to have that glimpse into the future that I wouldn't have been aware of had I done the videos in the normal way. And so I think that that's really profound because we're being supported right now in the changes that we are then going to have to overcome to make real. Okay, because Pluto squaring the sun, Mercury, and Uranus is also squaring Jupiter retrograde. And Jupiter retrograde is obviously in an opposition to Uranus. And so, you know, Uranus is the status quo disruptor. It is the matrix breaker. And it is the rebel who wants to create something new for humanity. And so with the sun conjunct, it wants to create something new for the self in reference to humanity. And with Mercury retrograde conjunct Uranus, we are receiving some cosmic downloads, some really serious DNA upgrades, and they are being manifested from the opposition of Jupiter in the sign of Libra, who is really showing us that we do have the power to remain an individual, even in relationships. And with Pluto squaring this aspect, Pluto's reminding us that he's not going to let us off the hook. So whenever our emotions join this point, um, we are going to not just mentally understand, we're going to viscerally understand on the energetic level of each one of our cells. It's going to be a really um, possibly intense vibration, and so that's why I'm going to read that degree. But I first want to see what the hey is going on with Mercury because it's been really intense. Like I really like to do um, my best, you know, and so that's all I could really put the energy out towards is continuing to do my best and not worrying about whenever Mercury steps in to remind me that I need to um, be more focused on the details that I really do need to take my time 
and that I also do need to reboot and connect with Mother Earth because, you know, Taurus is an Earth ruled sign. And so I'm really grateful that I get to go on this trip and especially be there at the Grand Canyon whenever the sun does step into the sign of Taurus and shift those energies, you know, be surrounded by something that represents fire, which is all of those rock formations with all the different colors, um, kind of shaped into the, you know, the shape <laughs> of flames, you know, at some points and coming from Sedona where it's all the same. So I'm really excited about this aspect and I want to get into this degree. Okay, so Mercury retrograde is going to turn our thought process inwards and make us really go deep into how we communicate. And we're learning how to communicate with ourselves on a more quantum level. We're learning how to be more overstanding of everything. Okay, so uh, natural steps to a lawn blooming with clover. The symbol often shows comfort, luxury, riches, beauty, and the good things in life. It implies that, that a time of fulfillment is close by, but there often is still some small effort to be made and that one has to take the simple steps towards inviting wonderful things into your life. Keep going the way you are. Following your natural intuition and you will find the peace you have in sight. Just be aware not to become complacent or lazy as doing nothing and not putting any effort in could lead to great possibilities slipping away. Hopefulness, inspirational possibilities, gradually enlarging one's vision, harmony, abundance, nourishment, being barefoot, small efforts leading to great returns. To large returns. <laughs> so here's the thing about this is that um, with the symbol showing comfort, luxury, riches, beauty, and the good things in life, um, these are aspects that we all look towards whenever we think of Venus. And Venus is still conjunct Chiron in the sign of Pisces. So we can have some really um, imaginative uh, focuses in these references and we could skip the part where we actually make them real which is Saturn right and Saturn is in that square so the square is asking us what are we doing what are we willing to do to make it real and so that's what this degree really starts to get into is that it implies that a time of fulfillment is close by but there often is still some small effort to be made that one has to take the simple steps towards inviting wonderful things into your life. And this is really key because you really have to do invite these things into your life. And because of the trying that's happening between Saturn retrograde and um, the Sun, Uranus, and Mercury, this is that invitation. You know, we're being... We're getting the invitation from the universe and therefore we get our chance if we want to take up, you know, if you want to take the universe up on this offer and correct the square aspect that's going on because this is all healing and this is all Venus right here. But let us see. Keep going the way you are, following your natural intuition and you will find the place you have in sight. Yes, you know, we have to keep following our intuition no matter what, no matter where it leads us. You know what I mean? And as long as, again, we're staying in pure heart and pure intent, then we know that we are actually listening to intuition and not our own ego projections. So just be aware not to become complacent or lazy as doing nothing and not putting any effort in could lead to great possibilities slipping away. And you know, because Taurus being that fixed earth energy, it can get very comfortable uh, being Venus ruled. It can just want to like lounge in the beauty and the luxury that this degree was talking about in the first sentence. And, um, you know, we can't ever stop. We can't ever slow down. And because Mars is in Taurus right now, um, our passions and desires can feel a little bit strongly fixated and it's at a master degree of Taurus, like in the final degrees. So we're about to switch, you know, after Mars moves into Gemini, we're going to get some, you know, 
new winds blowing our way because Gemini is a mutable air sign, right? And so this is a really powerful thing to remember is that this is the final steps of some sluggish energy that we might be experiencing and some new vibrations are about to come in in what we're passionate about. So don't forget that because we don't want to let these great opportunities slip away just because of our momentary view. Okay, so hopelessness. Inspirational possibilities. Gradually enlarging one's vision. Harmony, abundance, nourishment. Being barefoot. Small efforts leading to large returns. Okay, so I mean just stay hopeful. Don't go into the hopefulness. Hopefulness. <laughs> Dude, if I have a reset button, I mean I'm a walk-in. Like this is a serious issue here right now. Like my flesh suit is glitching. Um, so if anybody knows where my reset button is, like please go ahead and push it because I need a system reboot and maybe that's just my vacation tomorrow, but damn. Okay, yeah, hopefulness is a good thing. <laughs> Let us remain with that, geez. Inspirational possibilities, gradual enlarging one's vision, harmony, abundance, nourishment, being barefoot, which will I will take this opportunity to be barefoot tomorrow in Sedona. Um, small efforts leading to large returns. I should say today because it will technically be today uh yeah so as long as we're going towards the evolution of our soul as long as we're uplifting ourselves and we're keeping our eye on the prize then we're not going to be going wrong because the cautions of the day is looking for an easy way out not making the effort to find what is a few steps away expecting everything to be laid out for you weeds and unkept lives Hey, that's really interesting, right? Um, yeah, no easy answers, no easy um, shortcuts, right? And that's looking for that easy way out whenever they don't actually exist. It's about doing the work. You know, that's what life is, no matter what lifetime you're in. So just go ahead and put in that effort, right? Because not making the effort to find what is a few steps away is going to leave you without accomplishing the goal whenever you could be literally one step away. You know, you never know what is on the other side of a new vibration. And so I definitely encourage you to stay with it and keep going. You know, it's like, I could choose not to do these videos for whenever I go away on vacation. I could just say, you know, I'm sorry, but I'm going on vacay and I'm going to actually not be producing videos for this three day period. <clears throat> but I made a commitment, you know, and I'm keeping to it. And so it's coming out a little bit crazy, but I know you guys understand and that you can hang with me on it. And I feel better for keeping my word. You know, and it's just going to come out how it comes out. And I'm going to still be grateful for the opportunity. And I'm still really um, joyous that I get to do this. You know, so don't ever stop yourself at any point because you never know what's on the other side of you putting in the effort. So expecting everything to be laid out for you. Weeds and unkept lives. You know, everybody knows about expecting everything to be laid out for you is not reality. And that, you know, we can't have those internal weeds whenever we have unkept lives. We can't break our own diligence and we need to stay positive in all these aspects. Now, another thing that's been happening um, that we've talked about, uh, talked about quite a bit is the trine from Pluto to Mars. Okay, Mars is at 26 degrees today, Pluto. This is why we're reading 19 degrees of Capricorn because again, you know, just so much Plutonian energy and getting a different view of it because this, the inside degrees for 19 degrees of Capricorn is a little bit weird. Um, and so let's get a new perspective on something. All right, Capricorn in 19 degrees, a child of about five carrying huge shopping bags filled with groceries. This symbol shows having to carry heavy loads to shoulder responsibilities, do chores and jobs and help others. Sometimes being, sometimes because there's no one else who can or will do it. 
often the child gets these responsibilities before they are the one uh, they are the one who others know is going to take it seriously, completing the task, taking special care of details. You may feel that you have been burdened with responsibilities beyond normal expectations and possibly beyond your capability. Despite being keen and authentic, you must be careful not to try to take on too much or to do too much or too quickly. Like a child, you need to play, be creative, and rest. Growing up too fast, weighed down with responsibilities, taking on things above and beyond, being the one who pays, acting the grown-up, doing everything, broad shoulders. Wow, so on point. You know what I mean? I'm really glad that I took this look at this degree because we are all doing jobs. We all have responsibilities that are actually more than some of us um, can handle you know we have a lot of external expectations placed on us and we have a lot of internal expectations and we're all trying to meet these responsibilities and sometimes they're put on us before um we're at that place to do them with um efficiency right so such as the analogy of a child being given more than he can handle for his age right so Despite being keen and authentic, you must and despite being keen and enthusiastic, you must be careful not to try to take on too much or to do too much too quickly. And this is a really good point with Mercury being retrograde and you know, it's it's really hard to not get everything done that you need to do. You know, it's really it's really a difficult thing to sit back and kind of let things go by. Um, and sometimes you have to take on more than you're willing to chew or able to chew at the moment in order to take that rest, in order to take that time away. And so I feel like maybe this is really applying to me, right? But like a child, you need to play, be creative and rest. And so I'm going to go ahead and do that. I would suggest that all of you do as well. Growing up too fast, weighed down with responsibilities, taking on things above and beyond, being the one who pays, acting the grown up, doing everything, broad shoulders. So, you know, this is just, you know, uh, too much, too much, too fast at the end of the day, which creates being weighed down with over expectations and those responsibilities. So just basically, um, take one thing at a time because this is what Pluto is restructuring, right? So again, we're having a lot of positive aspects and a lot of um, challenging aspects with this degree and it's bouncing all over the chart. So it's playing out really heavy and it is in a trine to Mercury retrograde, that degree that I just finished reading before. And so we are getting, did I say Mercury? I meant Mars. So Pluto trining Mars, right? We get a chance to really restructure our passions and we get a opportunity to really come closer to being in line with our soul, okay? And it's going to dig up the shit that we don't wanna see, um, where we have taken on too much responsibility, where we are bearing a burden that is too grand, um, places that we're not ready, that we're not, we're not in line with the responsibilities, right? And so this is going to be a nice look. This is going to be a nice trying of support to get us in closer touch with Mars. And you know, some new winds are gonna start blowing our way and the cautions is overloading the innocent and the inexperienced without thought of the consequences. Never being off duty, dropping the bundle, carrying the family. I know we can all very much relate to this right here overloading the innocent and inexperienced without thought of the consequences because yeah i mean you can't just drop a heavy load on somebody and expect them to do it with perfection all of the time and as the node moves to one degrees of virgo and starts to conjunct the fixed star regulus which we're going to talk about another day um we are really feeling that pressure you know because we need to sometimes get jobs done that we can't fulfill at a certain time and so we put it on to um, more inexperienced people and then we expect the same sort of level of 
um, application that we ourselves as masters of certain things would put into it. And so just be realistic in your expectations right now, right? Never being off duty, dropping the bundle, carrying the family load. And so, you know, we never want to be off, never off duty to the point where we do drop the bundle, you know, um, and carrying the family, we're all in this together. So we just need to delegate responsibilities between everyone and make sure that they're realistic once again, so that our expectations don't get crazy. And then at the end of the day, whenever people don't meet them, we get upset. So as long as we're staying on the true path, you know, allow Pluto at Capricorn to restructure this part of yourself. And I will be back tomorrow, okay? Uh, actually, the tomorrow's video is already out. Again, apologies for the matrix glitch on that one. And I will see you soon, okay? God bless. Right to me. Absorb my life Let me illuminate you Close your eyes Can you hear my voice?